Nancy, can you hold up your example for Jessica? At Arcola Elementary in Wheaton, Maryland. Turn it in and clean up your desk. Mrs. Lee is teaching second grade. My mindset was I would like a lot of nerves um, just because I hadn't been in the building in so long. How are we doing? Good? All right. She had been teaching virtually since March of 2020. I was just nervous about bringing back like everything I did pre-COVID and how that was going to play out with all the COVID restrictions. Arcola is one of two innovative schools in Montgomery County. Here, they essentially have year-round school for all their students, meaning they went back to class to start the year in early July instead of August or September. So being the first one to have to do this, I think is the, is the biggest challenge. Emmanuel Jean-Philippe is the school's principal. We're dealing with children and we want to keep everyone safe and everyone's looking to us to find out how is it going. <laughs> What are the lessons that you've learned that other schools can learn from as they bring students back? You want to ensure that you review your logistics and operations. As complex as what entrances and exits are we going to now use based on the things that we've learned. And so keeping in mind, you are not returning to what you left. Once inside the classroom, students experience more changes. Everyone is wearing masks. There are sanitizing stations. Teachers are limiting sharing, so kids have their own classroom materials. Some of the changes in Mrs. Lee's classroom are not physical. Usually when they start second grade, you know, they're kind of over the period of, oh, I miss my mom. A lot of the students um, were having a really hard time transitioning back to being in the classroom and being away from their families. And for those teachers who are coming back at the regular time, what's the one piece of advice you would give them? I would just say to take it slow. <laughs> I know as teachers we get so much pressure about like, oh, you have to do this assessment. The students just are not ready for it right now. Um, they really need to build that classroom community first and know how to be around other kids again and know how to be back in the school, back in the classroom. In Montgomery County, Laura Geller, WUSA 9.